When Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, I was devastated, as a lot of us were. For a couple of days, I was speechless, and I couldn't stop crying. I would cry myself every day since I woke up until I went to bed. I couldn't reach any of my family members. And we, a, we, a, a couple of the Boricuas here, we had men back in April. So I sent out an email to everyone that we, we had met in this initial meeting in April. And I was like, look, we should, we should just get together and just talk this through, like, let's not be alone. So many posts still knocked down, so many people without water, without light. I'm happy to be with Boricuas in Berkeley, trying to do what we can to both um, create people-to-people -people connections and provide direct aid, but also to kind of try to push this institution really um, as the most prestigious public university in the United States to do something. None of us had heard from our families at that point, and we're all kind of desperate, but at the same time, we just couldn't stay put. It's really scary that today, today people are still suffering from that hurricane. 60 or a few more days from 60 have passed and people are still suffering. And so folks have been unemployed, folks have been jobless, folks have had um, job insecurity, house insecurity. And when you take a situation that fragile, everything in Puerto Rico is very fragile before the hurricane because of the political situation between the mainland and the island that is treated as second class status. So that when a hurricane and a devastating, the most devastating hurricane in a hundred years shows up, it hits that reality. Fortunately, my family is okay, but it's not the same for other people. Um, in my town. Uh, more than a thousand houses were destroyed in uh, a city, that, uh, our town that has 30,000 people. So the reality is a lot of Puerto Ricans are very clear that they're, they're not going to get support maybe up to a year from now uh, around the electricity issue, around the water issue. All over the southeast people have PVC pipes plugged into streams, streams that are downstream from open pit um, uh, waste dumps from toxic stuff and that's why we're having uh, fears about a pandemic. We do have an upcoming event on December 17th in La Peña Cultural Center in the afternoon. There's going to be this huge uh, Puerto Rican Christmas party but right on the outside of La Peña we'll be collecting basic need donations. The trees that weren't on solid foundation are completely knocked over with no hope of regrowing and that's the truth of a lot of people. If you had some certain uh, resources and structures that supported you, family members, places to go, you're in a place where you can regrow and rebuild. And if you didn't, then you're really marginalized and it really is looking pretty dire unless something massive changes in the structures and the politics right now of the island.